Hello guys, welcome. This is Ohit and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple block using Django. So before starting with, I want to explain the concepts in very short or in very brief. First of all, the model view template and app concept. If you are familiar with any other framework, you know, I think you already know about the uh, model view controller or MVC. But in over here, we have another thing, which is model view template and also other app concept. The model is the concept where we actually handle the database information. So all the schema, database schema or how the database are being managed are involved with model and the view. View are the logical or you can say the brain functioning thing inside the Django. So in if you're from the MVC, that time these kind of things are handled in controller side. So this is a bit contradiction in Django where in Django you call view the logical part, but in the other MVC you call controller the logical part. So you have to be always remember in Django view is the logical part where you process that information to show up into the front end side or user interface side. So template, template is the concept where you show your front end element, user interface element so that user can see all your information into the website. So it's called template. You can say HTML template. All right, the app concepts. This is very important concept. Uh, I'm not familiar with any other frameworks which has this kind of uh, app concept or not, but I can tell you this is one of the great concepts Django has to make your website more scalable. So in Django, you can separate your entire website into different pitches or apps based on some business logics, concept logics, or any other logics. So you can always do that based on your own assumption or you can you know you, you will always learn it from you, your experience so if you are a beginner don't worry about all this thing you will get it as long as you are practicing practicing and practicing all right so i will not talk more about it anymore i will directly go to the coding part initially i will start with creating the project so django admin oh before starting with i have to tell you that i'm not gonna show you how to install python how to install pip so you have to do it by yourself also you have to use uh, install the virtual environment um, if you don't know i will try to put a description into the description i will put i will try to put the link into the description i'm so sorry all right uh django admin start project and I would say the simple block. All right, let's check whether it. All right, here is our simple block later. I wanna open it into the Visual Studio Code. Cool. All right. So you can see initially there is a directory and a manage by. I will tell about the manage by later on, but initially see the simple block which is the root directory of our website where we will contain the main information or all the information basically. And this managed by actually helps us to run our uh, app or website. I will close it. Okay. okay. All right. So as I said before, okay, I open this up. You can see that app concepts we are going to create a blog, right? So what do we want to do? This is a this is a piece of the website. We can have a lot of things, a blog, a shopping site where people can, you know, buy things or e-commerce site or what can I say? Or maybe a video streaming services or maybe any other store kind of things. There can be a lot of things you can do with the single domain. So I will treat all of this as uh, single apps. So blog is an apps, your e-commerce site is an apps, but they are all into the same same website or single website, something like xyz.com. So I will treat the blog as a single single app. All right, uh, I'm gonna create the app, so which is blog, 
uh, I'm going to create Django on okay I have to enter the project first simple block I enter it first into the root directory then I will say manage by start app so I'm creating the app right now which is the block and hopefully it's created let's see you can see that another directory is created over here which is block and you can see all other files related to the block is all are, are also created so right now here's the thing you will wonder that all of these files what are these hack sort of things are doing here don't worry about this thing you will get it one by one trust me just you know go with the flow with me <laughs> anyway uh let's try something uh try to run this app manage by uh, run server and if we run it now we can see uh it's saying that 17 unapplied migrations we will know about migration later on but initially let's try to you know uh run this on into our local host and you can see that the install worked successfully congratulations that means our website is up which is good thing right now i want to actually migrate it but i don't think so i should migrate it now i will migrate it later don't worry about what are the things migrate things what are the migrations i will explain one by one initially i want to go to the directory okay first we want to work with the model we, as you know we have three concepts model view template i will work with the model so model are the things where you put your database information so inside our block what are the information we will have we will most probably have something like uh categories and maybe we will have something like uh articles okay so inside one category there will be a lot of articles right all right uh why not we create it okay so in django if you want to create the database table you have to create it into the models you have to do it into a class based format so i will say class and i will say uh, something like it should be category right category and I have to, you know, model. Okay, so I have created the class. So this category, this will be treated as the table name, unless you change it into the properties of the class. But let's uh, do it here. What things we will have for the category? We will have a name, which is models. Okay, we will have a name, name field and the name field will be a char field character field and we will give a max length for it or maximum length 255 all right and we might have a description for it right i will also okay not description it should be description models dot char field and i will say okay let's take it from here but we can actually give it text field as well when we give text field this description can be as long as you want but i want to put a restriction over it so i will keep it 300 okay so th the text field looks like something like this uh, something like this so it will be you can put unlimited information inside the text field I mean, fair users policy applied here <laughs> for the unlimited things. <laughs> All right, let's go to the article side. Article class article models dot model. So you know you are saying, oh, what are these models dot model? Okay, here's the thing. If you're creating a class bear class in Python, then actually Django doesn't understand it. That's why you have to inherit the you know parent class which is models dot model from the django so that it will understand okay you are creating a django model if you just don't put it there django will never understand it so you have to put it there you have to inherit it okay so article can have a name which is models dot char field or character field 
and you put a max length I can put it 500 and the description this time I want to give the description very longer so I'm gonna take text field okay and I also I want to delete it okay this is very simple now you might want to ask hey dude what's up category article both of them are created but how they are related to each other that's the one of the most important thing you have to understand so that's where the foreign key things or the relationship between the tables comes in all right so as i said before one category can have many articles also one article can have many categories right this is many to many relationship it's not even one to many it's not one to one it's many to many so i'm gonna say over here for the article every article will have their categories you can say categories uh categories models dot many to many then you have to specify which class is related to so here the uh, the class is category right so okay also another thing is that a category the category field can be blank right you don't want any category to be associated with the article that time you can also do this so you have to say blank equals to true you can say null wait a bit null equals to true all right so another thing you want to say this models uh, on delete models dot set null this thing is a bit weird a bit complicated for the beginner but bear with me if you don't understand for the first time that's completely fine you will understand it as the time goes by all right so what these things does on delete so you are relating this a record of article or one article with one category or many categories right that time what happens if you delete one of the category if you delete one of the category what happens to the associated articles to the category you can either delete all the articles related to the category or you can set the category of the articles to be null when you delete a specific category okay it's a bit complicated but bear with me it's gonna be easy when you are getting more experiences or you are getting more you know practices so okay we are done with creating the models right now but we have to do something is that uh okay first save the file uh go to the terminal now we are done with creating the models we have to tell django that okay our model is ready it's needed to be into the database so to all this information to be into the database what you need to do is you have to first initially create the migrations which is a real oh okay here's the thing before you actually create the migration you have to specify that your app inside the settings okay here's the thing django will not understand django will not understand your app until you tell it into the settings file i will not explain all other things over here but let's go to the directly into the installed apps here so that we can specify our blog app which is into the road directory of our folder or of our website all right save it now it can actually detect okay you have a blog app so i can create migration for that one so i'm gonna create the migration right now and it's saying django db models has no attribute many to many so i have done something wrong there uh let's see what i did wrong many many to many field okay it's saying that i actually missed something here it, sh it should not be many to many it should be many to many field all right let's try again and migrate make migrations saying on delete got an unexpected keyword ag argument so what i did wrong was on delete equals to models dot 
set now okay so i got something wrong here you can actually you should not use on delete models dot set now over here you should only use it when you're using it for foreign key all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete this one null equals to true i'm gonna delete this one as well and let's try to migrate make migrations right now manage by make migrations and you can see there is a migration created which is saying create model category create model article and if you go block migrations you can see there is a file created which is initial and you can see the information about the category and the article is inside this file so you can tell actually what the heck this migration things doing so migration things are the instructions for your database that django creates okay let's see something right now uh we can access the admin panel of django okay initially i have to tell that django comes with you know admin thing uh which is building things which most of the frameworks web frameworks out there doesn't have but you can have it on Django, which is a cool thing. I'm gonna create a user for this admin. So I'm gonna say create super user. Uh, saying something. Oh, okay, no search table. So before actually creating the super user, I have to migrate the existing migrations that I have. So I'm gonna say migrate. Cool. So all the migrations I had were all the instructions for creating the database tables, fields, and all the informations that were needed for database are applied right now after clicking on the manage by dot migrate. Okay, I can create a super user right now. All right, it's saying to tell. Oh, oh yeah. You can put your email address, but I will choose to leave it. Okay, I will give it a simple password. All right, a uh, super user or user is created for the our admin of the website. I will go there. I will access this one through admin. I'll say oh he I will do something like our oh, my password so you can see the admin panel cool admin panel of Django but here you can see the groups you can see the users these are related to authentication but we don't see our blogs and you know the articles over here so we want to have it here so to have it here we are going to go to the blog directory and admin we are going to import our models from dot models import category and import article hey that's bad article all right so we want to actually put it inside the admin so we have to say admin dot site dot register then we will do say okay you can do this and also again you can do this so we have registered these two models inside our admin panels and if you go to the website now we can see this both of them are over here over here you can actually create the articles create categories uh, manually you don't have to create you know in your face for that into Django Django will you know automatically create this crud thing for you which is create read delete update all right so I will create an article here but I wanna first create a category for the article so I will say something like Django description description i can put something like django is a cool framework save it then i want to say the article name oh lord i'm ipsham text let's generate something and put this here sorry 
okay why not I take this line okay so I have created an article here okay but we have created the article into the admin panel but it's not into the website right we have to do it so to do it what I'm gonna do is I will create a template directory oh okay before starting with this template thing I already explained it in the beginning but you have I am explaining it again template is the thing where you store your user interface information right okay so I will create a template directory would it be template or templates I guess templates uh, I want to put it inside something called home.html so inside this home.html I will basically show our blog article okay block so these cool magical things happen after I type in doc you can do it into visual studio code I don't know about sublime text but you can always try all right, we want to show this home.html or all the concepts inside this into the root directory of our local host, which is our website. So to do this, we are going to first create a URL folder. So all the URLs inside this will be showing the block contents or block things. So to point these URLs, the block URL, uh, our app, which is the block, and all the URLs related to the blog, we have to tell it from the root. So the root URLs is over here. And I'm gonna tell, let's say block. So don't worry about uh, all these things, but just understand that this is how the URL things work. The directory things, your website directory or indexing. All right, I'm gonna say include then the, block app and then urls so this thing include block.urls will point it to our this block file so i will save it i will copy and paste it here so this is our blog app blog apps url so i'm gonna say the first one will be the root directory which is uh, something like localhost slash blog something like that all right so i'm going to create a view for this one so into the block path uh, function first initially we have to tell the url then you have to tell the view so we haven't yet created a uh, views we will create it right now for creating a view we are going to say that uh, sh show home request then we are going to return render then we have to first put the request and we have to say the um, HTML file which is the view or temp which is the template then we have to say context or the data we are passing to this HTML file all right so we have actually created a view here but we want to okay let's close this which and we are having this URL which is related to here now let's see over here you want we want to import this show home this view over here so you will say from dot views import uh, show home then we will say this like that we can give it a name the url a name which is home url you can say all right so we have created our first view but let's see whether it's working or not if we go here and say block, uh, seems like it's not working because we are our app is not running. So I will run it first. Okay, seems like it's running good. And I'm gonna go and refresh. You can see the hello world is printed. Right now, we don't want to show only hello world. We want to show all the things inside the blocks or inside the articles. So initially I will go with importing the data which is inside our article models. So okay, inside context you put all the information that you need into your template. Then I will first initially 
import all the article list. So I'm gonna say article list equals to article dot objects dot all. So I have to import the article model. So I'm gonna say from dot models import article. Okay, this article list we got it here, but we have to pass it over here inside the context. So inside the Context will be a dictionary, so I'm going to say article list, article. So this thing, article list, this dictionary is being injected over here inside this one right now. You might want to ask, how does it work? Okay, fairly, you don't have to understand it now. You will understand it as things goes by. So what is request? Request is a request object, HTTP request object. You don't have to understand it uh, uh, that much in that right now as well. Just understand it you will need request every time you make a request request object will always be there all right so let's we have injected this article list or all the article list inside this html template let's try to print this right now and see whether it's working correctly or not so this double curly bracket uh, braces will tell that okay you are having a context variable I will print it here. You can see it's saying query set article object. And I skipped something, which is this one. What the heck is this thing? So this thing actually equivalent to something like this. Select all uh, from something like the table article. So this thing actually similar to this thing. So you can say that this is a query database query we are making, but in a Django object relational model way. So hopefully it's not going to be hard. You are first mentioning the article and you're telling, okay, that's going to be the objects query. And you are telling, okay, fetch all the, all the information in, into the article. Then you are taking it inside the article list and you are just injecting into the template through a context dictionary you can actually do something like this context and you just pass it here okay let's see okay it's it works but here's the thing how how the heck we are going to show all the articles right now this thing this query set thing is actually loopable or you can put it inside a loop so i'm gonna say for loop and I'm going to say article and the article is variable right now. I don't know why I don't get this spelling. Then I want to print all the articles right now. So I'm going to say h1 equals to it's going to be the title or the name uh, article dot name. Then I'm going to put the description below. So I'm going to say article dot description okay and let's see whether it prints or not you can see nice and easy peasy we got an article here i want to remove this hello world thing hello world thing should be removed and it's gone now we want to show some more articles let's create article go to the django admin and this article section and create another article i will take this same object i will create something from here random things i will take i'll just put something from here and here save it and refresh this block again you will see that two articles are created you can create as many articles as you want this is fairly easy just you have to understand the concept first initially you have to create the app block app then you have to create the database table inside the models category article then you have to create the template which is the home html then you have to put it inside the url where this url show home and the view and the view we are creating over here we are where we are telling the logics or we are putting the dynamic information so this view can be actually class based view as, as well, which is much more advanced than this, but I will not explain it for this beginner tutorial. 
trust me you just have to practice it for uh, several times you will get this very very easily all right guys i think that should be it for this tutorial i'm not gonna explain it further thank you so much see you into another tutorial